OCR Street Ministry. We're on the corner of uh, Bergen Avenue and JFK, Journal Square at the Water Fountain. Here to warn the people to repent and believe in Jesus Christ. You trust him. If, if God did it then, he'll do it again. Yes. See, if you're sitting up wondering, Lord, I'm about to lose my house. God, did you trust me? Lord, I don't know how it's going to work Say, out. Lord, please. Do you really <laughs> trust I me? I put that there. <laughs> God says, if you trust me, you'll know the yes. child is temporary. Yes. Because yes. whatever you're, you're going Jewish? to do, it's not going to last forever. Okay. The attack on your mind is to tell you that what you're going through is terminal, but I'm coming to tell you right that this teacher right. don't last That's right. always. Huh? The writer says you're in sin. one thing we must do. you do, currently live in sin? And that is change our posture. Okay. He says, I lifted up my eyes. Well, I'll tell you right now. Our focus is too much on stuff around us. I got something for you. But instead of focusing on what is above us. Hey, do you have any hands? Because when we yeah, yeah, yeah. look around our situation. This is like uh, it's like lotion. It is very Thank depressing. You, I need trust it. I'm Yokus. Yokus. Now without Yokus. being yes. depressed so over situations. Yeah. Because things don't look good. I got something else for you. Hold on, hold on. Cash and clothes and commodities and creatures. I don't want to be a friend of the world because you know, the enemy of the father. And That's right. And so I want to love the father and hate But when you have to lock yourself in and then lock yourself up and lock others out. Oh, hold on. That's not a good way to Yes, I have it for you, man. You see, I know you know God. I know, but not the scary part, but, but this, now I'm in big trouble. Eyes, yes. If I die, die, but this will set you on the right track. A lot of things happen in the yeah, Bible. You know, salvation's not an emotion, it's a decision. Yes. Yes. Don't turn it down for me, I want everyone to hear. Okay, okay. I, was, I was trying to, I was trying to hear was what, what you were saying. But I want every soul to hear. Uh, Amen. Well, I haven't met a person like emotion. Sometimes we live by faith. We live by faith, not by sight. When Moses went and we can't to live by how we feel. Uh huh. You know, when a teacher a gives a test, Pisgah, right? The teacher's silent. Moses, God showed him the promise. Right? I like that analogy. And Jesus Christ, Mashiach, is when the master. Moses yes. Turned around you know, the supremacy of Christ, Jesus Christ always was. It was a hill called he came to be a man. He died for us as the second Adam, because we're in a demic in sin. Wow, you know all of this. 20 years. It was a hill called Hollywood. Well, I, I, I run from God. I'm scared of God. And pray you fear God, right? I fear him. I'm scared of him. It was a hill called Herman. Where Jesus the word is fear. Obedient. The word is reverence. Uh -huh. like outside now you don't need that mask, man. Well, it was a hill called uh, Yeah, but um, what Jesus you know, suffered and died. But I know the truth. I study the supremacy of Christ. But not only uh -huh. is the great I am. He is. Geographical and he is. He is. Listen to John Piper. Also a place he is. Where crime John Piper is. from um, Pastor John Piper. Because thieves and vagabonds. Oh, I gotta go talk to my wife real quick. The text said, I love to say, who do I say you are? Says, I, I am that I, I am. I am. I am. Problems because you know? a lot and, of my uh, problems come. You know, from I know the truth. You want and to if we're not careful, if we focus on everywhere I go, uh -huh. I, see Christ, I see the glory of God. Yes. So I feel but like, you know, he's saying, Justin, let's put down the booze. You have a beautiful said, home. Yeah, the booze is a, a, a device of the enemy. Yeah, I mean, listen, to say, listen. Because so I got some help. Your adversary, the devil, that. roams about like a roaring lion. That's a bull that you need. Uh-huh. So the main word is okay, devour, uh -huh. and the other two words are sober and vigilant, which means obviously drunk in the spirit, not uh -huh. drunk in alcohol. Uh -huh. The writer seems to say vigilant, which yeah. means to be aware at all times of the trap of the enemy. Uh -huh. But you know what, man? Thank you for this literature. You're welcome, man. No problem. to see you. Uh, yeah, I've been all, always been out here. You know what I'm saying? I've always been out here. You know, this is what I want to do. The Bible but I'm not ready because I need to repent. No one is self-sufficient. You go ahead and do that. I know, I know, my, I know the who Bible I am in Christ. Says, 
without me, God, no, God, God said it to me all the time. He said, Justin, I know. You were, great so great if we, you were made for greater things than this nonsense. And I believe uh -huh. this. He says, I know, Psalms 139, I didn't know you before the foundation of the earth. Uh huh. Amen. I, I formed you in your mother's womb. That's what the Bible says. Yes, right. Psalms 139, brother. You know, he knows I'm standing up and I'm sitting down. He didn't say that his father was his help. So God uh -huh. bless you, brother. It was good speaking with you, man. Thank you. I got a YouTube channel, man. You do? Yes. Let me see what it says on your hat. Oh. He uh, said the Lord God wants you to help. He said. God wants you. He was talking about oh. help. That is God's <laughs> That's awesome. Huh? That's this, oh, you, just think of the thank you. Of hey, YouTube is uh, one witness. OCR, OCR Street Ministry. God is still giving us enough time to plan and to act on it. God says that his time is now. The time for planning is now. He says to seek him for the plan. You can't get this plan through a health care provider. You can't get this plan from a cell phone provider. You can't get this plan from Medicaid. You can't get the plan from your doctor. God is telling you today the plan is from Him. Because God made the plan. He made the only way. Jesus died on the cross. It was the only way. Satan would tell you to go anywhere else. Go to whoever else you want to go to. But there's a reason why God... There's a reason why God loves you so much. And there's a reason why Satan don't want you to know God. He don't want you to know His love. He'll turn away from sin. He is telling you today, He has sent me out here today because He cares about you. He uses me as an instrument to speak to you. He doesn't speak to you because you are in sin. And God is holy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God says today you cannot get eternal life on your own. You need to call out to Him. There's a reason when people get into car accidents and they call out to God and they say, Lord, help me. They realize that they're sitting in the hospital. They're realizing that they're, they're going through so many things in life and still they don't want to hear God. They still think that they can live however they want to live. Well, ladies and gentlemen, one thing we have to understand and instill in our spirits today is that God is the creator. And we are the creation. And I'm telling you today, ladies and gentlemen, we must call out to him. Call out to Him through continual and constant prayer. Fasting. We need to stay in the face of God today. Look at the dangers that we're going through today constantly. Bombarded on television with lies. Wearing this and wearing that. Telling you if you don't wear a mask, you can't get into a store. Imagine if you have to take up a mark saying that you can't buy or sell. Ladies and gentlemen, we are heading down that road. We are fast approaching the days of the tribulation. The question is, do you want to be here? Do you want to be here when the tribulation comes? Do you want to be here when total destruction comes? It is time for us to wake up today, ladies and gentlemen. It's not time for us to pick a religion to get to God. It's time for us to come to God the way He calls us to come to Him. It's not time, it's not, it's not time for us to do what we want to do. It's time for us to do what God calls us to do. It is time for us to hear God. It is time for us to hear the message of God. It is time for us to understand why Jesus died on the cross. Ladies and gentlemen, the Google is at our disposal. You can Google this on the internet. You can go on the internet and find out why Jesus died on the cross for you if you don't know. It's not hard. It's not hard at all, ladies and gentlemen. But I am telling you today, it will be hard if you choose the way away from God. Life is hard because you are stepping away from God. God says if you walk with Him, not by sight, but by faith, you will make it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But today, ladies and gentlemen, today, ladies and gentlemen, the, the, the truth is this. Jesus saves. And no matter what you have gone through in your life, God will forgive you. 
But if you choose to live your life in sin and die, you will be on your way to hell. I was given the message in another part of New Jersey yesterday. I was given another message in the part of New Jersey yesterday. And the people got scared because they realized that apart from God, they're going to die. And I'm very sure that nobody wants to die. Everybody wants to live. And I'm telling you to live is in Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is the way to live. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. We must call out to Him through continual and constant prayer fasting. We need to stay the face of God. We need to pray. We have to fast. We have to get up early and fast. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm speaking to myself as well, reminding myself as well that I got up this morning and I started, pr started praying early in the morning to meet the Spirit and face of God there. We need to get accustomed to not eating as much as we did before. Allowing the flesh, the fleshly body to control us. We must start we must start getting accustomed to starving our flesh. Amen. Missing the meals, turning off the televisions. The reality televisions. The social media. These are the things, these are the things that the enemy uses. God bless you, my oh, brother. Hey, how you guys doing? We're good. Remember us? Yeah. God bless you. Amen. I'm doing good, man. Praise Jesus. Amen. Good, Is everything doing better now? All right. Praise Amen. 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 You want you want some encouragement? Yes. All right. Here you go. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Yes. Both of you. God bless you. Keep preaching. Amen. Oh, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. Uh, you speak Spanish, right? Yes. Okay. I got something for you. I got a church Thank that you, you can so much. attend. You got a church you go to? We go to to Carteret, but we're looking for something closer, a little closer. This is West New York. Okay. Oh, we're That's, up this way now. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah, closer. Praise Jesus. You keep preaching we're the gospel, man. We just walked by you to cover you in prayer. I, I was Amen. covering you in prayer for you there. Amen. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Let Jesus cover you in his protection. Praise the Lord. Amen. Open up our ears to listen to what God is saying. Christ Amen. Is to come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory unto God. Praise the Lord. Today, today we can take a moment. Today we can take a moment in the in the in the, in the time to listen to God. I'm gonna go to my message now. Uh oh. I gotta. Fix my mic. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before I go into my message, I'm going to open with John chapter John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. He that believeth on Him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because of their deeds were evil. 
For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth trust, doeth truth, cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that are walked in God. God is telling us today in his word, this is all we need, ladies and gentlemen. His word, that's all we need. God's word to live. I don't know what's going on with my microphone. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I guess I'm at the face this direction when I talk. <laughs> Hold on. Before I get started with my message, I don't want to get started and it be broken. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the audience, Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> In the Bible, Jesus, Jesus says, See that no one leads you astray. In the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 1 through 5, Jesus left the temple and was going away when his disciples came to the point out the buildings of the temple but he answered them and he says you see all these things do you not truly I say to you there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down and what Jesus says is true because it was fulfilled in A.D. 70. As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, Tell us when these things will be and what will be the sign of your coming at the end of the age. And Jesus answered them words in red, See that no one leads you astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ. And they will lead many astray. With 
everyone agree that just within the past seven months, this world has taken a whole new turn. On top of that, it wasn't, it hasn't been a, a turn for the better. The radical system that we have operating in the world today has gone totally over the edge, which is biblically prophesied. And because of a supposed highly contagious, deadly virus, which I'm still looking for, man-made or not, the social statuses on this planet has changed dramatically. No longer do we have freedom to travel from one area to another, or this includes travel within some states, some borders. I am not saying there's no virus, I'm not saying that there is a virus. What I am saying is that there is a plan in place, and it is working against us. But it's being used for the New World Order system purposes. And going back to the Bible, Jesus had been in the temple in Matthew 23 and gave the seven woe bees to the scribes and the Pharisees. And to sum it up, he called them down for being so puffed up within themselves. Placing burdens on people that God never meant to happen. One famous line was from Matthew 23, verse 34. You blind guys straining out a gnat and swallowing a camel. Verse 28, so you also outwardly appear righteous to others, but within you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what we see today. And from the time of Moses forward to the time of Jesus, the time where Jesus first appeared here, the religious leaders constantly redefined what was proper and what was sin. Only issue here is, is that it was for their own will, not God's will. And that is the reason why we see so much differentness in the world today. People going their own way and when we look at the word of God we see that they're going they're going this way and, they, and then God is going this way but pride was and still is a major problem in the world today as these leaders saw themselves as superior to the general population God is not so inclined and is not a respecter of persons for everyone to follow and not and are not all that difficult to understand the only hard part is in the minds of the beholder because they do not want to give up their own pleasures of this earth the lords of Satan for some are stronger than the promise of eternal life with Jesus. The here and now is what counts in their minds. Some people live for the game system, thinking that they go to college and they get a degree and they do all these things in, in life and they'll succeed. But they're only playing the system. You see, in some people's minds, they are still in a matrix and they must be unplugged. This is part of the reason why Jesus told them, you must be born again. We cannot come to God and say, Lord, I repent of my sin, but still practice in sin. This is of no surprise to the Father, Jesus Christ and was prophesied by numerous biblical prophets who were dedicated servants of the Lord. Now in 1 John 
the apostle gave several warnings about what would be taking place in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 through 16. The Bible mentions this, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him or her. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh, and the desires of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not from the Father. The Bible is saying, all this here is not from Him. But it is from the world. And when the Bible says it's from the world, the Bible is saying it is from Satan. That's your enemy. The enemy is Satan and he wants to destroy you, kill you, steal you. That's why anytime you hear the word of God, there's always someone saying, hey, come here, come here. Let me, let me show you. I got to show you this. Let me show you something. Or somebody, somebody always trying to pull you away because the enemy knows that the moment you grab onto the seed, you begin to grow. And you'll see the things of the world the way God sees them. And that's what God wants you to understand. He wants you to see the way the world is. And how we, as His creation, are not to be part of the world. The world system is against God. That's why they don't like me here today. That's why anytime the Word of God is being proclaimed, being spoken, there's always someone calling the police. Because the enemy is trying to pit a stop to the word of God going out. I can't I can't count how many times they call the police on me here. I lost count. But still, at the end of the day, the fact of the matter is, is that I'm still here. There's groups of people petitioning for me to get out of here. But by the grace and mercy of God, the love of God, I'm still here today. And there's many others that will follow in these footsteps because God will raise them up so if I'm removed, then God is going to place someone else here to preach the gospel. Because God still wants them to know the word. God still wants them to know the way, the truth, and the life. And I stand here today flowing through the Holy Spirit with a current so strong the enemy can't get close. But I tell you this, it's no surprise to the Father. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 through 3, the Bible says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist. And you know the scary part today? Many people have this spirit inside of them and they don't even know. They don't even know. They don't even know. That's the scary part is that God is trying to protect you from yourself. Just think about that, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know who we are until we come to God and then God reveals our true identity. Uh, growing up, I wanted to be a train conductor. But God said, that's not for me. I looked at God and I said, why? I wanted to get an education and, and I wanted to go to school and I, I, I took vocational training and, and I graduated and I did these vocational colleges and I did all this stuff. But still, even when I did what I wanted to do, I was not happy. And God approached me one day like he approaches a lot of other people and God will come to you and he will tell you, if you take this way, you won't be happy. But if you take my way, you will be happy. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I am literally happy to say that I've made the best decision in my whole life to follow Jesus. Following Jesus is the best decision I ever made. For those who don't know Jesus, you can come to know Him today. If you're walking around here and you're, and you're breathing... You still have a chance. 
Some people come to God and say, look, I, I can't come to you because of what I did yesterday. I sold drugs and, and uh, I, I was in prostitution and, and I'm drunk. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you today that I preached the gospel to drunk people. And they came back the next day remembering every word I told them because God's word does not return back void. Bro, can I say something? Yeah, what's up? What's up with... Uh, okay. Uh, what's up with obedience? Obedience? Yeah, what's up with obedience? We have to preach obedience. Yeah. Uh, obedience what about to the, God. Uh, what about the three angels' message? Who? The three angels' message. Three angels' message? What, what three angels? Okay, you don't know about that? That's what, that's what, what we have to do with... What religion are you? I'm not religion. Okay. Uh, God is not religion. That's good. That's God good. Is religion. God is relationship. You have to okay. relate with God. Jesus. So he, came down from Jesus who Jesus. Jesus Christ okay Jesus Christ is the son of God yes Jesus Christ is but God. how did he how did he overcome all everything that he was told by the how you overcome everything that's yeah. in the world no no no. how did he overcome everything that he was meant to do or by fulfill? obedience there you go so preach that obedience okay well I preach whatever the Holy Spirit tells me to preach well in, in person truth in spirit and in truth, I worship God in spirit and in truth. So, uh, no, no, if, if the Holy truth. Spirit, if the Holy Spirit is telling me to preach, no, yeah, just no, the, what the Holy yeah. Spirit tells to preach, so you, that's you, why you I do. You gotta be able to discern. Yeah. If it's God or is. You think God sends me out here and I'm not able to discern? Well, <laughs> if I ask you, obedience. Yeah. Or the three angels. Message. Obedience is fearing God. Okay, but the three angels' message is right now. Three angels' message. Three angels. Where in the Bible does it say three angels? Revelation 14. Here, show me. Okay, here we go. In the name of Jesus. What do you mean? This is the, uh, just the new... Oh, Are we in the tribulation? No. Hey, God yeah, bless you. No, no, I want to tell you God bless you. Okay. I genuinely want to tell you God bless you. I already have Christ in my life. I Amen. Should, this I is just words of encouragement. Amen. I receive it. God bless you, sir. Genuinely, Amen. you are the light of this world. You are the salt of this earth. Don't ever let anybody tell you to stop. Amen. This. Jesus Christ. This is your evangelistic ministry. Yeah. Yes. OCR Street Ministry. Keep doing what God has called you to do. Amen. Keep doing what God has called you to do, brother. I'm genuinely thrilled. I was driving by here, and then I, I just had to come here. I, I had to come here right now just to listen to your word. Amen. I have not, you know I pray for that, right? I have, that's, that's, Glory to God for that. Amen. Brother, honestly, I'm so like thrilled to meet another person, to meet another person who's passionate for Christ, not just another person who goes on Sunday and then not share what God has given on to them. Because at the end of the day, if all of these people, their souls, they're going to go to hell if they don't accept Jesus. Amen. We are the ones that are responsible for filling the commission. Uh -huh. Jesus gave the commission to the disciples, not to the angels. He didn't say, angels go spread my word to Judea, to Samaria, to all the ends of the world. He said, you spread Go it. to all the nations and yes, make disciples. Yes, yes, yes. Baptizing them. God bless you, bro. Amen. God Receive bless you. It. I thank you for, you Receive know. it. No, I'm just here. Yeah, God bless you, bro. Seriously. Okay. Read the whole chapter or, uh, of uh, Revelation 14. Love Read the whole chapter. I have of to go because I have class. I would genuinely okay. love to. See amen, amen. I'm on YouTube. Your it's live streaming on YouTube. You're on YouTube. Yeah, it's really? live streaming on YouTube right now. I edit videos for YouTube for my pastor. Okay. So um, OCR Street Ministry. OCR Street Ministry. Yeah. I'm gonna search you up. God All right. God bless you, man. So what do you, what do you say here? Revelations 14. Read the whole Revelation. chapter. Not Revelations 14. A text. Read the whole chapter. Oh, read the whole chapter. Yeah. Whole okay. Chapter. Revelations 14. Okay. God bless, brother. Oh, oh, 144,000. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you know who the 100... Oh, hold on, hold on. There you go. Hold on, wait, 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 man. You can't, do you know who the 144,000 is? And you are too. No, Jews are. Who? Jews. No. Okay, no. sir. All right, God bless you. You are not. We won't be here for the tribulation, sir. The church is going to be taken. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's 144,000. <laughs> I haven't read Revelations 14 in a while, but I figured he was going towards that. Anyways, continuing on with the message. Yes, please. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> um, I'm going to read this scripture over again. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 through 3. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits with an S at the end. To see whether they are from God, 
For many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard was coming and now is in the world already. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all taking place today to prepare the way for the Antichrist and the false prophet of the seven year tribulation, which is right around the corner. Ladies and gentlemen, you may not believe what I'm about to say. Let me turn up the speaker when I say this. You may not believe what I'm about to say, but I'm telling you the truth today. Today, ladies and gentlemen, what you see with this COVID, the Illuminati said that they're not letting go of this. They're not letting go of this, ladies and gentlemen, because this is specifically designed and set up to prepare and condition people for the new world order system. Come on now, are you there? Are you there? Satan was present even before the creation of this world. And his influence has been around all through our history. Do not be deceived. Hear the words that I am telling you today. Do not be deceived. Satan the devil, he knows the Bible and Bible prophecy better than all of our Bible scholars today. He just uses this to twist God's word to fit his evil agendas and his demons follow his lead. Believers understand that the end of this age is coming rapidly and we're waiting for the rapture the taking away of the church is going to happen ladies and gentlemen and god is allowing this moment in time to come so that you can make a decision to follow him or you're going to stay here the old slogan is this either you're going to fly or you're going to die the tribulation period was not made for the gentiles ladies and gentlemen this is the truth today you may hate me when I say this. I hope you understand what I'm about to tell you today. But to be honest with you, I'm happy that the COVID happened. Why would I say that? Because God allowed this to happen so that people can recognize that they need Jesus. Not so that people can die. It's so that people can recognize when everything else is shut down in the world, and they're home, and they're locked down, they realize, I need Jesus, because my work don't save me. I need Jesus, because I don't have any money. I need Jesus. See, God, God didn't, didn't had this happen so that everybody can re understand who's in control. Come on now, they, they shut down the churches? The churches willingly set, uh, shut down. They willingly said, we're going to shut down, and we're going we're gonna to do this, and do that, and yes, We'll shut down. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm still looking for the virus. I don't see the virus. You see a virus? Where's the virus? You see the virus? I don't see no virus. They're looking at me like, don't say that name. Don't, say that. don't talk about that. Believers understand that the end of this age is more rapidly coming faster than they can believe. In the rapture, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 to 53. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 through 17. Yes, I came equipped. As followers of our Savior, we are indwelt with the Holy Spirit, and the truth of God's word is obvious to us. And those who are filled with the Holy Spirit can, can definitely see what's happening today, and those who are not see that they need Jesus, but some of them still refuse to follow God. I am telling you today, ladies and gentlemen, this city passed the law to try to prevent me from doing this last year in, J in July. They passed the city ordinance. Why would they do that? Because they don't want you who are just walking around to hear this. Satan would rather you go to, 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 to something else than to hear the word. Jesus said to Satan, he said, man lives not by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Today, we're in fear because 
we're not feeding our souls. Today, we're, we're, we're confused because we're not reading the Word of God. Today, we don't know which direction to go. But God is saying, come His direction. Come to Him. I have not come here to condemn anybody. But to tell you that you need to go to Jesus. Because He still loves you. Now God doesn't love what you do. This is where a lot of people are confused at. Well, God loves what I do, so I'm just going to continue in sin. No, you must flee fornication. Flee all the sin. Flee the things that God hates. Thank you. I appreciate you. God bless you. God bless you, man. Here. Do you even have an extra Bible? Stupid thing. Uh, an extra Bible, do you? Yes, I do. Um, I don't have them on me right now. Okay. I'm waiting for them. Um, you got an email? Yes, I do. All right. Uh, you got a pen or something? I don't. I usually do. Oh, you got a phone. Okay. Yes. Take down my uh, my email. Okay. And email me, and I will personally deliver to you a Bible. Cool. I will personally come to you. Thank you. You're going to be available today or tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right. I will. I will email you and I'll say give me a location and we can meet here and I'll give you the Bible myself. Cool. Alright, take down my email. Uh, let me go to my notes. I got the worst microphone in the world. I'm gonna write it on, my, on a text so it can be easier. Okay. What is it? Matter of fact, hold on. Babe, you copy? Come back here around 8.30. 8.30 tonight? Yes. Yes, sir. Come back here around 8.30. Okay. And I'll have the Bible. Hopefully, I'll have the Bible for you. But take down my email just yeah. in case things change. Yep. Okay, what is it? All right. It's Y-O-K-A-S. Y-O-K-A-S. B. B. 2-1. At Yahoo.com. At Yahoo. That's it. Yahoo. Yeah, come back here around 8.30. I should, I should still be here. And I'll have I'll um, I'm try try my bring my try have my wife bring a Bible. Okay. Now, are you okay with small print? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's King James version. Okay. That's All right. God yeah, bless you. Man. <laughs> All right. Thank amen. you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Definitely. I'm gonna send you an email anyway. Okay. All right. All right. Amen. You get emails directly to your phone, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you. If you would like to know Jesus today, you can come to this spot. This is a call for repentance. A call for repentance. Did you just hear listening? Okay. All right. If there's anyone here that would like to give their life to Jesus, you can raise your hand and I will pray for you. And today could be the beginning at any given time. Hey, come here. Come here. Praise the Lord. God bless you. How you doing? Do you know Jesus? Yes, I know. I'll, I know not much, but I, I do follow. Okay. Yeah. All right. I got this uh, this stuff here for you. Um, got these cards. This right here. It says how to be saved. This is the first step that you can make to following Jesus Christ right here. I'm going to do a call for repentance, but we're going to pray as well. You want to turn your life around today? Yeah. Amen. This is how you do it. It says it right here. What does it mean to be saved? And then it says, imagine a swimmer who has gone out into deep water and is drowning. And God wants you to let you know right now as you live in sin... You are, you are drowning. Right. Okay? And he says, this person cries to the lifeguard to save her. The lifeguard rushes to see where she is, picks her up in her helpless condition and takes her to the shore. The lifeguard has saved her from drowning. God is letting you know today. Here, this is for you. God is letting you know today that you are drowning in sin and that the only way that you can be saved from sin and come into eternal life is through Jesus Christ. And this, I got this paper right here for you too. And this is God's plan for you. He says, For I know the thoughts I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace 
and out of evil to give you an expected end. Now, when God says expected end, he's not talking about an end to your life. He is talking about comfort, love, to make sure that you are set right, that you are taken care of. What's your name? John. John. All right. God bless you, John. Can we pray for you? All right. Now, I want you to repeat these words after me. Close your eyes and, and, and trust in God right now. Put your trust in him. And repeat off these, these words after me. Say, Lord, Lord, I repent of my sin. I repent of my sin. I have heard your word today. I heard your word today. And I want to receive you in my heart. I want you to receive you in my heart. Today I want to depart from my sin. Today I want to depart from my sin. And turn to you today. I turn to you today. I've heard your word and I'm answering your call. I heard your word and I'm answering your call. And now, Lord, I ask you to come into my heart. And now, Lord, I ask you to come to my heart. And make me new again. And make me new again. Restore me. Restore me. Everything that was taken from me. Everything that was taken from me. And give me what I need to follow you. And give me what I need to follow you. I thank you, Lord, for this moment and opportunity. I thank you, Lord, for this moment and opportunity. For everything that you have done in my life. For everything you have done in my life. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you are God in the flesh. That you have come as God in the flesh. I believe. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I say, I believe that you have come as God in the flesh. I believe you have come as God in the flesh. I believe that you have died on the cross for my sins. I believe that I died on the cross. For my sins. For my sins. Lord, I repent of my sins. Lord, I repent of my sins. Help me to not sin anymore. Help me for not sin anymore. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray for you. Amen. Father God, I ask you right now to uplift this man and give him all the tools that he needs. I thank you, Lord, for leading him to this direction. To hear your word that was spoken through me, Lord. Heavenly Father, I ask you to fill him with your spirit and lead him in the right direction. So that he may walk in your footsteps. And walk by your spirit and worship you in spirit and in truth. I ask you, Lord, to protect this man. Put a hedge of protection around him. And fill him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. I ask you, Lord, right now to give him comfort wherever he may go. Let him not forget your word here today. Let the words that he received be hid into his heart. Your word be written on his heart today, Lord. I ask you to lead him in all the direction that you have called him and lead him in the direction that you want him to be, Lord. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name that he may be saved today and turns away from sin. Give him the tools that he needs to continue his walk with you. From this moment forward, Lord, as he walks away, let him walk according to your ways. And you direct him and you guide him. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you, man. Give me a hug, man. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Call for repentance. Hey, if you come back, if you, um, John, if you come back at 8.30, I'll give you a Bible. I don't got no Bibles on me right now. Come back at 8.30. Yeah, 8.30. Come back here. All right. God bless you, man. God wants to fellowship with you. You who are listening. You who do not know him. God today is desiring to fellowship with you. And importantly, God loves you. And we should never forget that no matter what the world tells us. But when Adam and Eve chose to sin against God in the Garden of Eden, they decapitated the entire human race and pitted into sin. Since that time, every human being has been born into, into the world with a sin nature. And each and every one of us has rebelled to, towards God. God by actively participating in sin. 
choosing for ourselves to overthrow God's authority and question His goodness through that very process. Man, fuck your God in this public fucking nonsense. You're doing great, brother. Praise the Lord, sir. Thank By you. By you saying that, that tells me my job is doing. I'm doing great, sir. Great. I'm Hold doing up. great. Straight up, public noise disruption. It's public noise pollution. What? Wait, wait. Why? Why are you walking away? Because you're fucking annoying. People are trying to walk into the door. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They, they'd be so quick to say all this stuff towards me, but they're always walking away. Jesus often spoke of sin in metamorphosis that illustrate the havoc that sin can wreck on one's life. People often today wonder why things are happening in their life. Why things are not going right in their life. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you today, it's because of the way you're living towards God. God is telling you, you must get off that track and get on His track. You see, Jesus Christ died on the cross so that you can live. Jesus, died, G Jesus Christ died on the cross so that you can have eternal life. Jesus Christ died on the cross so that you can have a way to become a child of God. But if you live in sin, you will complain about your life. Nothing won't go right. Yeah, you may have money and you may have all these things. But ladies and gentlemen, all these things in the world, they will perish. And so will you. Apart from God. That's why I've come here today to speak to the people and tell them how they need to turn away from the world. How they need to turn away from sin. How they need to turn away from the rebellion and turn to God. Do you know Him? He describes sin as blindness, sickness, slavery, darkness. Is this truly what people want? But people today, they live in blindness because they can't see the truth. They live in sickness because they're in sin. They live in slavery because they're deceived. And they live in darkness because they don't have Jesus. Jesus is the light of life. Jesus is eternal life. Jesus is God in the flesh. And that is the reason why most people hate Him and hate those who follow Him. Because we walk in the light and they walk in darkness. Hallelujah. Moreover, Jesus taught that sin is a universal condition and that all people are guilty before God with it. They're Christians too. But. Yeah, I got a, I got a Bible. Appreciate it, man. God bless you. I need this. Uh, Amen. So my other little grandson got my, my Bible. Uh -huh. He probably tore a lot of pages out. He probably like this. Uh, <laughs> he, he in my bedroom right now, jumping on the bed, tearing up, and the other one. Oh, he man. He said, Papa, gone. Just going to you, need, you need another one? No, let's okay. do it right here. All right, I appreciate very it, brother. good, very good. Right. The print is a little small, but I'm pretty sure you got reading glasses. Yeah, I mean, I have to get better Bibles, like you know, with bigger print. This, this will do. Okay, all right. All right. Thank you. God it, bless you. God bless you. Here you go. The print, the print is a little small. It's that small. Uh huh. Is that is that okay? That's okay. Okay. All right. Thanks so much, brother. God bless you, man. God bless you. This is John here. Hey, I'm, I'm usually here like on Tuesdays or something, but um, do you want my contact information? Oh, yeah. All right. My phone number to, to a prayer line if you need prayer, if you ever go through struggles or anything. Um, I got my phone number. You want to take it down? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, let me, let me, get a phone or something? Yeah. Okay, yeah, pin. Okay, we're gonna write it in there. Oh, hold on for a second. Can you write down our name, our YouTube? You got internet access, right? Yes. Okay. Write down our name, OCR Street Ministry, with our prayer line number. Our YouTube is C or just our OCR. Uh, one witness. That's YouTube, right? Okay. This is John. He just gave his life to Christ today. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? So. In our Miss Bus, stay over here. And if you ever need like a, a better Bible with a bigger print, Let I can get you, we'll one. get you one. I'll get you one. one. Don't worry about it. Free of charge. We we, we never ask for money. We're never gonna charge you anything. You know what I'm saying? All right, thank you.
Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. The, uh, the phone number. I did. Okay. Fairline. And just in case he needs the email, write our email right there. Stay warm tonight. It's gonna drop into the 40s, please. Stay yeah. Warm. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be inside. I put the temperature dropping already. So I have to go back home too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I put the prayer line. Uh, so, um, prayer line, 24 hours a day. Okay. All right. God bless you. God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you. It's good seeing you again today. So, this is one of the Bibles that I got. It, the, the print is like really small. Okay, no, it's fine. I got is it okay? Yeah, yeah. I just okay. can't read that night. <laughs> okay. I can get you a better Bible with bigger yeah, print. I mean, I mean, how, is there such a thing? <laughs> right? And, um... I appreciate this alone, man. Um, yeah, I appreciate this. Yes, King James. Yeah, I appreciate it. I was, and I was like, there was like one more person. I couldn't remember. It was you. Oh, okay. Look at this. They all came back. This is the this is the third person. It's my wife. Angel, Angel nice to meet you. I'm nice to meet you. What's up, buddy? Sure. He already Thank got you. one, yeah. so but another one will do. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> so uh, I'll send you all the information about I the emailed ministry. you. I don't know if you got it or not. Um, it's A E H Espinosa eighty five. I was being, oh, yeah, there it is. You got it? Okay, yeah. good. Yes, good. I got it. So this is something. So this is what you, this is what you always do. Like, well, I'm not always here. Okay. Um, I'm only here sometimes, but I'm, I go across the state in New Jersey. Oh wow! Nice. And I go and warn people. I'm a watchman, so I warn people of judgment and sin. Okay. I warn people. So, more, okay. Yeah, of judgment and sin, and for them to repent. This is the message of repentance. Yeah, that's pretty big, right? Repentance. And turning to Jesus. Yeah. You know, so yeah. a lot of people call the cops on me. You got my YouTube, right? Yeah, well, I was hearing what you were telling me, how people do call it. That's crazy. It's kind of ridiculous, but that's how the enemy works, I guess, right? Yep, that's right. It's crazy. Uh, you can have other people doing worse things, and they don't dare call the cops on that. Uh-huh. Which is like, it's... It's something about the word of God that touches them. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, like you can't, like they can't help it either. Where it's like, you understand what I'm saying? Where it's like they just get ag agitated, and that tells you about their spirit, how their yep. spirit. Yep. The spirit inside of them is agitated, and, and, you and they, they just think it's their emotions. Yeah. They don't understand why yeah. they hate the yeah. gospel. Like even like they don't I'm, even know it. If I walk into a store and somebody sees this, they probably get like agitated by me walking into a store and this, they see listen to my head. Like they, they're probably just like. Oh. You know, it's, it's, if you ever need anything like something like this will do for right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you need a better Bible, say, hey, man, no, I'm a little short on what money. I, I'm a, I need a better Bible. Definitely. I will get you a better Bible. Yeah, no, That's, absolutely. you know, it's just the, the print is small. Yeah. And sometimes when the print is small, it's kind of hard to it read. It is hard. Yeah, yeah. It is hard. But if you ever need it, if you, <laughs> you look at it like, yeah, it is. <laughs> If you ever need a better Bible, yeah. I will go out and get you one okay. and personally deliver it to you. Be like, this is the better one. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, because I was definitely praying on it. Um, and, like, I, I think when you pray on something and it's just dropped, like, it's just given to you like that, I think it has more of a meaning than me just going to Barnes and Nobles and actually picking one. Does that make sense? Yeah, they got a lot of expensive Bibles yeah. in there, man. Like yeah. And then 70 yes, bucks and Yesterday like I went to, I was at like C.H. Martin and I see one and I was like, man, I don't have a Bible. I, and like that's what I wrote to you in the email. Where I was like, damn, I need a Bible. I haven't, I haven't read the word in a while. And it's funny. Yeah, sometimes when I'm in street ministry, I know you email me, and yeah. I'm like, I can't, I don't, I don't hear the notifications yeah. when I'm out here. Mm. But I glance at my phone from time to time. Mm. So definitely, no, I'm so definitely happy that you came back. Emailing. Yeah, no, absolutely. I was kept checking the time, kept checking the time. I was cleaning up a little. I was like, man, this time needs to hurry up. Wow, yeah. man. You really want God's word? Yeah, I, you know. No, I, I'm sorry to be like so like happy about this, yeah. but it's more it's a long time since I met someone like yourself who was hungry for God's really? word. Yeah, it's, more, it's 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 more of just it's more of two things: it's me wanting it and me needing it. You know, like there's nothing else, man. <laughs> like it's more, it's more of that, like me needing it. You know, and then like me wanting it, but me it's almost like you're not hungry, but you know you need to eat, and if you don't eat, you're gonna die. That's how, that's how I feel. You want to pray? Absolutely. Let's pray. Pray to the Heavenly Father. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this moment in time for bringing uh, Angel here. Yes, sir. 
Thank you, Lord, for bringing Angel here to receive your word. I ask you, Heavenly Father, to put a hedge of protection around him, to guide him, to comfort him, to lead him to understanding the Bible here, your Lord, your word. I ask you, Lord, to, to fill him with your spirit, to continue to go after you, Lord, to continue to do your will, and to look to you, Lord. For everything that he needs, I ask you, Heavenly Father, whatever it is that may be in his life that is not of you, I ask you to begin that work right now to bless his hands so that not only does he is blessed, but now he will go out and bless others. With your, your, with, Lord Jesus, with your word, he will be able to tell others about what you do, have done in not only his life, but what you can what you can do, Lord, in others' lives, Heavenly Father. I thank you for this moment in time, for bringing this man to hearing your word. Lord, I ask you to bless him, bless his family, bless what he is doing, and let it be turned around to you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 God thank bless you. you, man. What was your name? Yokus. Yokus. Thank Yokus. you, Yokus. I appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Definitely appreciate it. And I'll definitely be emailing you. All right. All right. All right. I'll send Thanks you some again. more information, Absolutely. okay? Please, as much as you can. All right. All right. Thank you, Amen. Appreciate it. God bless you. Good night, guys. Take care. Good night, buddy. Nice Bye. to meet you. Bye, guys. 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 Bye, Praise the Lord. No one? Praise the Lord. Wow, all oh, three of them came back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness, that is so beautiful. This was this camera right here? Yeah. This was a good night to save. At least three men coming to get Bibles, coming back to get information, coming back for prayer, coming back for final thoughts, final words, final encouragement before the night ended. And they would shoot the word to come back. That's commendable, at least. Mm -hmm. um, I wish more people that we meet are like that. But at least this was a good night for us, for three people. Three people. Hallelujah. And we weren't even supposed to be here in Journal Square tonight. But uh -huh. at least we were here. We made the decision to be here. This is why we do what we do for this, for three people. Even if it was one person. Even if one person heard the gospel got changed, it didn't come back. This is why we do what we do. This is why we encourage people to follow Jesus and preach the gospel themselves in their own city, own country, own state, own whatever. Because OCR or any other pastor or that you know of, like David Lynn, for instance, or Sandy Archong, we're in different parts. And it takes people who are in different states to get up and rise. Because we can't be everywhere at once. We're not God. This is why we do what we do. We try to encourage people. Because it's important for us to stand up right now. Stand up you right now. Know, you don't know if somebody's watching this right now in another state, like in, I don't know, Ohio or Oregon, and you're filled with the gospel, you're filled with the Holy Spirit, and you want to preach the gospel, don't think about it. If it's weighing heavy on you, just do it. We need more people to rise up and preach the gospel because nobody can be everywhere at once. Only God himself. This is why we do what we do. So we can help. Call us. Email us. YouTube us. Whatever it is. Yeah. We need you to stand up now. This is now. This is right now. Amen. Amen. Let's go with this. Let's go with preaching. Let's go with our gut instinct to want to get up and rise up in Christ. Let's go with this. Let's do this now, right now, at this time, this moment, right now, before it is too late. I know a lot of people say that, but it is down to the very wire right now because of everything that's happening in the world right now, everything lining up with the Bible, you cannot deny that's not true. Not even the atheist can deny that. Now, right now, we ask you to stand up in your own city, your own country, your own state, whatever it is, stand up now, right now. Amen. Amen. Let's do this. Christians. Amen. Let's do this. Amen. Truth, unafraid, unashamed.